The Russian Foreign Ministry released a statement yesterday evening lambasting the European Union's decision earlier this week to deploy a civilian monitoring mission to Armenia. The EU had earlier deployed a group of monitors to the Armenian side of the border with Azerbaijan from October to December last year. Brussels announced on Monday that a new civilian mission would be deployed to the same areas, this time for two years. According to the Russian Foreign Ministry, Moscow does not see any, quote, added value from the EU's presence, adding that the EU, along with the United States, are pursuing a, quote, confrontational policy in the post-Soviet space. The EU's mission, quote, can only bring geopolitical confrontation to the region and exacerbate the existing contradictions, the statement continued. The ministry also noted that Armenia chose the EU's monitoring mission proposal over a similar proposal from the CSTO, a Russian-led military alliance, which, according to the statement, remains open to deploying its own mission to the region. Meanwhile, the U.S. Embassy in Armenia announced today that career diplomat Kristina Kvin has been formally sworn in as the new U.S. Ambassador to Armenia. Kvin previously served as the second-in-command at the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine, and before that as Washington's acting ambassador in Kiev for two years, including during the build-up to Russia's full-scale invasion last February. She replaces Ambassador Lynn Tracy, who has been appointed as Washington's new envoy to Moscow, the first woman in that role. And as Azerbaijan's blockade of Nagorno-Karabakh entered its 47th day today, more than 350 tons of humanitarian aid for Karabakh residents remain stalled in Armenia. In an effort to mitigate the impact of the blockade, the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund, a leading humanitarian organization, donated 100 tons of food for the people of Karabakh, while other charitable groups supplied another 250 tons of aid. The initial plan was for the aid to arrive before New Year's, but Azerbaijan's ongoing closure of the Lachin Corridor means that the supplies are currently stuck in Armenia. According to the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund, negotiations with the Russian peacekeepers manning the corridor to get the aid into Karabakh remain ongoing. And finally, our program Insights with Eric Hakopian is back for the new year. In the latest episode, Eric discusses the crisis in Karabakh, as well as last week's tragic fire at a military barracks in eastern Armenia that left 15 servicemen dead. You can check out the full episode now on our website and YouTube channel.